Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I will be reviewing the Gerber Bear Grills Folding Sheath Knife. So let's take a close look at the packaging before we unbox it. Here is the front, here is the back. I picked this up at Walmart for just under $30. Now the specifications are as follows. The overall length of this blade when open is 8.5 inches. Closed length is 4.9 inches. The blade length is 3.6 inches and the total weight of the knife is 4.3 ounces and with the sheath it is 5.3. Now um, before I turn this over you can see here is the folding knife. It's considered part of the survival series so it's being marketed as a survival knife it comes with a survival guide which you can see here in the front on the back you can see the sheath the sheath's supposed to be made of a mildew resistant um, nylon it looks to be like a ballistic nylon so let's take a closer look at this knife Again, they're saying that this is a survival knife. It is a folder. Now, it is a lockback design. The action is acceptably smooth. Not, not exceptionally, acceptably. Nothing to write home about. The grip is rubberized. It's very comfortable in your hand. There's a little bit of jimping on the top. It has a lot of flare out right here, so it keeps your hand from sliding preventing your hand from sliding onto the blade. As you can see, the blade itself is half serrated. Now, there's a lot of debate whether or not a survival knife should be serrated or not. Now, the blade itself is pretty thick, so it appears to be pretty strong. It maintains that thickness to about here, so it is possible to break the tip. The steel is unknown, typical of Gerber, <laughs> Gerber's mystery steel. My guess is somewhere around your normal 440A or maybe a, a 428C or something around there. Nothing to ho write home about. You know, I have not read any reviews about the blade itself breaking. Now, on the Ultimate Survival Knife, which is a fixed blade, there's been a lot of issues with the pummel that was built onto the back, where actually when you started using it, it actually would crack out of the handle. Now there is no play side to side or up and down. Let's go ahead and see how sharp it is outside the box. Okay. And it does come very sharp. Now I'm going to take my reviews a little bit further. Let's see how well it cuts rope. First we'll test just the blade portion, not the serrated part. And it does quite well there. And then we'll go ahead and try the serrated and actually the serrated did make it a lot easier to cut the rope so I guess if uh, part of your survival relies on cutting rope it does make that easier but as you can see you could still cut rope with a, a regular blade there so you're you know you're losing a lot of your your regular part of the blade for that serration so that's why a lot of people debate whether or not you really need that or not in a survival situation you're better off having a full blade so also inside I'm not sure if you can tell but I will tell you there's no um, liner of any sort so you, you can see there's a very slight twist but um, it, it's okay I don't see it as being a problem so let's go ahead and lock this the blade centering is a little bit off but not that bad it's not bad enough where the blade is rubbing along one of the sides as you're closing it so it's okay and of course it has the bare grills freaking initials all over it you know to me right here it it you know it's thirty dollars in several places and you know it has his name on it and I'm sure that adds about five dollars to the price I, I would give this about a, a twenty five dollar price tag not exactly a thirty maybe even uh, on special for twenty so you know maybe the price will reflect that after a year 
because this, this whole series just came out. Here is the sheath. Appears to be made out of a uh, almost like a ballistic nylon. You could mount it both horizontal or vertically onto your belt. And it has the Velcro cover. And they added a little extra slot in here. So you could put his survival guide with all the things you need to know to get you out of a tough spot. And you can go ahead and put that in the little special compartment right here inside the sheath. Now the one thing that might be disappointing is that this is, doesn't appear to be waterproof. It would have been nice if the survival guide, which also has like measuring stuff on it and how to build shelters and get water. I mean really good survival guide, however it's not waterproof. So, you know, it, it's not going to do well <laughs> for any significant amount of time even in the sheath. Let's fold this up and see how well it fits into the sheath. It's a nice, tight, snug fit. Not bad at all. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and sort of whittle whittle on some wood and see how well it holds up. So here's my spear, <laughs> and it can poke holes through my paper pretty good. So it's my sad excuse for a mini spear. So let's go ahead and after that one time, see how well we can still cut paper. You can see it's a little rough. but. It could still cut pretty good. Still does a fair job. So it didn't really lose an edge too bad. Still feels pretty sharp. So um, I actually thought it would give up the ghost uh, quicker. So actually it seems to be fairly decent steel. I would really put this under the category of um, not quite a, a long-term survival knife, but maybe, you know, something you could throw in your three-day bag for short-term survival, because, you know, I, you know, folders, I still do not think a folder, unless it's an extremely well-made one, would, is good for long-term survival. But, um, I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm glad that they didn't make the serrations come, you know, as deep with the points because it didn't seem to grab as much you know you know how sometimes when you try to cut it sort of snags and makes it really hard for the um, rope to cut but um, it does a pretty good job so the serrations even though there's nothing that really stands out about them at all they uh, did make them shallow shallower, shallow <laughs> I can't put that whole word together in my head um, makes it so it doesn't grab quite as much and does a better job of cutting the rope so I do like that change um, also I forgot to point out that there are uh, ambidextrous thumb studs so it's good for both left-handed and right-handed so actually now after that use you could see the blade centering uh, might have got just a teeny bit worse So, I don't know if uh, adjusting the pivot screw might help that or not, but I'm not seeing it, at, well, it's pretty close to that one scale right there as you're closing it. It's not hitting it yet, but it's pretty close. But you know, it's, it doesn't have 
the uh, stainless steel liner to keep it super rigid even though the plastic is uh, pretty hard and then you have that nice soft rubberized um, grip around it. It really does feel good though. I think, uh, I think it would make a good knife for a three day bug out bag of some sort or for short term survival but anything more than that you really need to upgrade to something um, fixed blade and better. So this is my review on the Bear Grills folding sheath knife. So I made a, a pretty big mess here so I better clean this up before my wife comes out. So I hope <laughs> I had to make sure this is recording. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Gear Obsession channel. I do appreciate you coming back. I appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber out there. And I hope you have a great day.